What does all life seek to do? Live. <laughs> Why is it that we all fight and argue? Is because we are separated. We are in an opposition that most of us do not understand. and solution to the opposition is to realize each other's pain, realize what separates us, what those things that separate us trace back to, <clears throat> the underlying cause or root cause core cause, you tra trace the root back to the underlying cause or core issue, and you realize it can be let go. Without togetherness and realization that we need each other, always be in opposition. If we realize that our emotions are controlled by us individually, nobody controls our emotions. That's why we say emotion, because it's energy in motion. So, because most people say emotion, and it, it, if we were to say it properly, it would be emotion. M motion, right? But that's relevant at this point. We are coming into a new era, a new way of living, <clears throat> new way of being. The information is pouring in. The masses are being the shepherds <laughs> and once we get it right though we will never have to rely on anything that isn't real anymore not that there there is right or wrong there is only what what is the only <laughs> the only primal primordial source force of all of existence there's nothing more than that it is the extension of everything there, there is. For example, we're on Earth, and life is all we know to be physically real. But we are blindsided by fabricated physical reality, formulated synthetic reality. Wake up in the morning, stop the alarm clock, stretch, uh, step along the carpet into the washroom, <clears throat> perhaps turn on the faucet, grab your toothbrush, put some fluorinated toothpaste on the toothbrush. Scrub your teeth. Yada, yada, yada. Change. Maybe perhaps take a shower before you change. Go downstairs and we all know the, the routine and it's a loop. It's a hamster wheel. We, we, we keep running in these loops that have no correlation to real life. It, it hasn't. It's not symbiotic with life. In order to live with the earth, we need to be symbiotic. If we're not, and we continue to take what we want from the earth and name it whatever we want, for example, oil, I 
feel that it is, it is, well, we call it crude oil, right? Um, again, there is no wrong way, but I'm digressing. Oil, crude oil, I, I feel it's mother is blood. That's what I feel. I don't feel that it's something where we're able to take out, like I wouldn't pump uh, my mother's blood out of her body biological mother or my adopted mother, I wouldn't pump the blood out of their bodies and uh, utilize it for something else, especially not to fuel a, a vehicle. It's pretty heartless, I think, in fuel. So why are we doing that to Mother Earth, our body's mother? It makes no sense, right? But the solution is, is to reconnect with our body's mother and realize where we where our bodies come from you know keep an open mind and perhaps maybe the spirits we are come from somewhere else come from what what was said earlier the original the only original primal source force of all of existence we do not need the dogma anymore the, the religious dogma uh, the societal dogma. We, we need nothing more than to work with the earth and live with the earth. Together in harmony and in, in, in uh, serenity. Earth supplies everything we need. For example, the tree exhales what we breathe and we exhale what the tree breathes it's obvious and it's it's an obvious relation there for example mosquitoes love to suck our blood obviously we're here we're from here and the relations that i've had with animals even that we are from here as long as we decide to get along with life instead of the loud abrupting sounds startling everyone startling the animals making wide places for the the insects to travel. Insects need flowers and things. They need to travel to the next flower and get their pollen and nutrients. We're making roads and highways and clearing, clearing out places of life to make cities and it makes it hard for the, the insects that help us live. But this is where I'll end it. Remember what life is. And that to be physical and to be here on this physical plane, on this earth, we need the earth and we need to help her survive.